Hello everyone, my name is Tyler, and we're back with another JTA podcast episode. <laughs> you want to restart that one? <laughs> you just, you want to restart that? Let's restart that. <laughs> Was my mic not picking it up? Your mic picked up barely any of it. Oh, no way, bro. Are you for real? <laughs> Dude, I literally sat there and I was like, okay, so we got Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> we heard. Welcome back to another episode. I, I, thought you guys were, I thought you guys were trolling and I went, okay, we got Andrew. <laughs> and then you guys went, yeah, you want to restart that. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm keeping okay, every second of that in. Okay. <laughs> okay, you guys ready? <laughs> You've been ready. <laughs> okay. Hello, guys. Welcome back to another JTA podcast episode. My name is Tyler. I'm with Thick Boy John. Hello there. And Andrade, of course. I'm eating Tostitos. Huh? Ooh. No one asked. <laughs> I like uh, you know what? <laughs> Man, what are we doing here, huh? Well, we got some topics to discuss today. Some questions, like the usual JTA podcast. So let's just get right into it. Mm. It's been a minute since we uploaded. Mm. Um, just a little bit. Just a little well, bit. Just just a couple of weeks. Yeah, just, um, just a few. Just a few hours. Yeah. Um, we, we want to <laughs> profusely apologize. <laughs> We of course appreciate all the love and support on the is last video. The word? I have yeah. no idea. Tyler's just using big words to make him yeah. sound look smart. Anyways, okay. anyways. Okay. Um, um <laughs> I I see we have some hate <laughs> vibes going on today. Um but yeah. You know. But we do want to say that we should be updating updating, sorry, uploading more often now. Especially with some big things coming out. Black Ops 6. Uh, Scream Fortress. Ooh. And of course, beta up... Or beta. Jesus the beta podcast up <laughs> uploads. Ooh. Yep. And maybe some clip dumps on the way. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, there uh, was a... Uh, a good month and a half where we just <laughs> could not record. Yeah, yeah we much. had a... Uh, <laughs> All you three know. of us got really sick, like one after the other, and then we were just also just very busy. That, and we had a video that was doing so great, and then uh, we fumbled the bag right at the end of the video. So, yeah. Excuse me? <laughs> um, unfortunately, it is what it is, but we're back on track. We're back uploading. That video is still going to come out eventually, but... Yes. It didn't go how we expected it to go. Let's just yeah. say that. Uh, we got, we'll, we'll be back on our... It went exactly how I expected it. <laughs> hey. Mr. Mr. Andrew did yeah, not have a like, lot of faith. It, it didn't, we didn't reach our goal, I guess. I, I don't know. Okay, I, I don't okay. want to say too spoiling, much. You're spoiling the video. You're spoiling the video. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's, let's move on. Um, speaking of hate from uh, earlier... We got the PS5 Pro announcement. Okay, lots of excitement the day before, uh, especially exciting. with with Astro Bot coming <laughs> out. Lots of great things in the PlayStation community, and then, real. Um, <laughs> and then they announced the PS5 Pro and uh, 950 Canadian dollars. By the way, so Whoa! without a disc drive or a vertical stand, that needs to be purchased separately. By the way. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't, um, have, doesn't have a disc drive? No. Does it have a disc in it? You, you gotta pay for that separately with the vertical stand. So, so first, you, you want your console up or you gotta pay a little extra fee for that? So first, my phone takes away the fucking home button. <laughs> and now they take away the disc drive from my PlayStation. <laughs> if you guys couldn't tell, Andrew's a bit of an old head. Um... <laughs> Unk status, as they would say. Bro, <laughs> why would they get rid of the disk drive? 
I, and you I said there's no know. hard drive? Or what else did you say? No stand. This no no vertical stand. stand. You gotta you gotta pay for that. So you no, can't no one cares about that. You can't stand it up. No one stands it up, bro. It's fine. Yeah. Johnny's gonna ignore that one. Um <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, Johnny, got any thoughts on this? I know you're a big PlayStation guy. I think um, whoever like was in charge of coming up with these decisions doesn't deserve a job in this industry. <laughs> okay, uh, like a PlayStation Five Pro was expected, like, and I, I I'd be down for a PlayStation Five Pro. But the problem with it, like, I think is with the PS Five is that they haven't really made that many games for it and every game that they have made for it already looks and runs really well or is a remaster that doesn't change what i just said but sure okay. i guess <laughs> okay <laughs> um sorry You just completely threw me off. You just ruined everything. Yeah, you just ruined his whole train of thought. I'm sorry, bro. You just ruined I'm sorry. everything. Can you wait until he's done talking to Hayden? I was adding, I was adding a, a... a point that doesn't change anything. I said the games they made are look and run well, and you said, are, are the remasters? Well, th they would still look and run well if that was the that case. I they barely made any games. <laughs> so yes, you know, by, bar by barely making any games, I'm including those remasters. They haven't... In general, they just haven't made much for it. And like I said, they all the games that they have made for it look and run really good. So from the very beginning, a slightly more powerful PS5 just it didn't seem that interesting to me. So that alone is what, like I that alone causes me to not really be that interested in it. And then yeah, on top of that, they showed a comparison like screenshots and gameplay of the difference between games on PS5 and on PS5 Pro. And I literally cannot notice one single p different pixel between the two. It literally looks like they're showing the exact same footage right next to each other. Which means if there is a difference, it is so minor that 99% of the people who buy a PS5 Pro aren't going to notice anything. Yeah. And then on it's top of that, they also charge basically a thousand dollars Canadian for it, and like Tyler was saying, they call it a pro PlayStation. They charge so much for it, and you can't put discs in it, and you can't stand it up. Both of which without paying extra, exactly without paying a lot, and it's a lot extra too. The disc drive is like seventy, eighty Canadian, and then the stand is like forty dollars Canadian, fifty bucks Canadian. Forty dollars for a stand is crazy. I'm, I'm about to make uh, a PowerPoint presentation as to why the PS3 is better than the PS5. Huh? <laughs> I've like, been you are ridiculous. spitting game right now. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. So. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, the PS3 was underrated. If you don't look at the price, it I was agree. underrated. I mean, come on. Huh? The price was horrendous for its time. Don't get me wrong, but it was a banger console. That's the only PlayStation I've liked. That's a crazy take, but I'll allow it. Come I on, mean, when, you, when do I know how to have crazy takes? It's the only PlayStation I've like personally only owned, so. <laughs> Fair. But yeah, I mean, I have no interest in it. Oh, there's no disc. That's the that's the worst thing I've yeah. heard about PlayStation in a long time. <laughs> Like, are you kidding me? Like, yeah. a disc drive and a stand came with the original PS5. Like, and it was way cheaper. And it looks almost the exact, like, the graphics-wise, they look the exact same. So it's just like, you are saving hundreds by just buying a regular PS5. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't understand what they were thinking. Yeah. But if you want to be a pro, Johnny, you got to buy the <laughs> PS5 Pro. You know, I guess that's fair. Duh. I guess I Duh. guess I guess I have to buy it now. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna be a real gamer. 
Todd, what are what are the console news do we have? Huh? Well, turns out the Switch 2 has been leaked. Oops. Mm. Some oh, pretty cool sounding leaked. stuff. Well, it matched some other things, so it's looking pretty likely. This is it not like it's not announced yet, no? Nah. They They've said, said it's they officially said that they are making a new console and that it's going to be announced in the next fiscal year, which I don't really know what that means, but people were saying it's between now and March. It basically means the next quarter of sure. the year. So yeah, between now and the end of March, it, it can be announced literally any second. It can be announced while we're recording this. Probably not, but it's, it's possible. Check, check YouTube, check Twitter right now. <laughs> we'd have I don't, to read the video whole uploaded. podcast. I don't care when this video is uploaded. Go check it right now. Pause the video, go check and come back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so is it also like a... Tra is there a... Uh, oh, I guess it doesn't have it. Or no, there is a disk drive, I guess. Can you put games in it? <laughs> it, it doesn't um, look like you'll be able to, yes. <laughs> it does look like you can put those tiny okay. little disks. That's in. good. You know what? That's good. Cartridges. Cart, whatever. Um, does it run 80% of games at 13, 15 FPS though? It says it'll run with the base power of a PS4. So we're still not there yet, no? So no, but it's like about a PS4. 10 years behind. No, but think about like... Think about the games that are on PS4 and how good those look. You'll have that portably. You'll have Mario and Zelda games that look like God of War. Yeah. I mean, they won't look like God of War, but you get what I mean. But, like, can you but imagine? The, <laughs> but the Steam Deck can do the same thing. Yes, but I'm saying a Nintendo console that's that powerful is really cool. Yes, it's still outdated. It's still outdated, but so has every single Nintendo console ever also been outdated. So, like... It's you not really. It has really a disk surprised. drive, so it gets my vote. Huh? Yeah, exactly. That alone makes it better than the PS5 Pro. <laughs> it gets my vote, bro. You can put games in it. Huh? Basically, what the, from what the leaks are saying, if they're real, which, based off what people are saying, what people think, it looks, it feels like it's really real. It's kind of like a Wii and Wii U situation, or a DS and 3DS situation, where like, it's basically just a bigger and more powerful Switch. That can play their original Switch games. Which is awesome. Which is... For the record. That is okay. literally exactly what I wanted from a Switch 2. And okay. I honestly... I agree. Like, I think that's the perfect route they could do. Especially if they want... Because Nintendo's always been a company that makes a profit on consoles. You know, compared to Xbox or PlayStation, they don't make a profit off consoles. They make a profit off the networks, right? So... You can imagine that the Switch 2 is going to be pretty cheap compared to the new consoles. Yeah, they always are cheaper than the PlayStation and the Xbox. You're about to be sorely mistaken. <laughs> I'm not saying it's going to be cheap. I'm just saying, <laughs> saying it's $600 usually price cheaper tank. <laughs> than the PlayStation and Xbox. $2,000 isn't coming. <laughs> you can get the XL version for $2,500. <laughs> and it also... Yeah. The Joy-Cons apparently are magnets or something this time. Yeah. They attach magnetically. Attach and stuff. You don't have, like, the sliding rails. Okay. I mean, those better be strong magnets, huh? Yeah. That's... Yeah. I hope that's so. That's a bold risk. Especially for, like, a children's device. Yeah, I don't know about magnets. <laughs> I don't know about that, huh? That was pretty much all that was leaked with it, though. At least from yeah. what I know. There was some fake leaks going around of like the main menus and stuff, but like people seem to think that those are like ninety nine percent for sure, like real. I mean, fake. Sorry. Yeah. Well, the screen does look bigger too, which is a good thing because the switch That's screen saying, is yeah, kind of small. Bigger. Alrighty. I think that's enough console talk <laughs> for a bit. Uh, earlier, we actually mentioned this in the podcast: Call of Duty Black Ops Six. The beta has passed um, by quite a bit now. By the time this is uploaded, um, what what it for those who saw even like a glimpse of it or played it, what do you guys think? 
Andrew, you played the beta quite a bit. What, what, what were your thoughts yeah, on it? I, I have some. I have a lot of thoughts about the beta. <laughs> so, um, I think I, I really like the the idea of them uh, bringing back uh, the Wonder Waff in multiplayer. <laughs> I'm glad that you can shoot people with the Wonder Waff in multiplayer, and it's an insta kill. And uh, they also brought back flying. You can now fly with a jetpack. I um, love that's that. That's pretty cool as well. Every I time you use the jetpack, just the jetpack joyride game comes up on your screen. Yeah, and then you have to play both games at the same time. It's kind of a weird, uh, weird sponsorship they're doing, but you know what? That's it's a cool, collaboration. I, I thought uh, the I mechanic it's... of uh, being able to just break physics and break gravity and just walk on walls and ceilings was was weird. But you know what? I think I'm, near the end of the beta, I think I was starting to get used to that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think it's really cool though that they they keep they kept the developer console on that you can use to <laughs> enable cheats in games too. That's pretty cool, huh? Alrighty. Well, as you could tell, all right. And that's all we played. have to say on the BO6 beta. Let's <laughs> let's see what else we talk about let's, here. Let's move on. Um, uh, Andrew hasn't played five minutes of that beta. <laughs> Um, I haven't seen anything about it. Huh? Did you see anything zombies related? Any of the zombie videos? I saw like the leaks or okay. whatever. Okay. I didn't see gameplay. Well, in my opinion, I really enjoyed the Black Ops 6 beta. Okay, I really enjoyed the new Omni movement. It gives the game a nice fluid feeling. And it, it also gives like a new perspective into Call of Duty. You know, usually the game feels similar every year. This time, it doesn't feel similar. Like, it feels like it's, it's a new game. If that makes sense. Like, like there's enough changes saying. in it to feel different enough this time. Yeah. And I actually really like the weapons, too. Every weapon kind of has its own place, even if it's not. Is the marshals like, there? Um, I can confirm the marshals are not there. I'm canceling that my pre-order. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> um, and yeah, I, I don't know. I really enjoyed my time with the beta. Johnny, I know you played a bit. What did, uh, what did you think of the beta? Yeah, I don't, and specifically I don't know. the multiplayer beta, by the way, for those who don't. I don't know. I I played it a little bit. I didn't play I didn't play as much as Tyler did. Um, see, here's the thing about Call of Duty. It's like... I like the multiplayer modes, I like the campaigns, but I have very little experience with that stuff compared to zombies. And the zombie stuff is the stuff that I love the most and like the most. So like, me personally, I'm only really excited for the zombies. So like, I don't really care what they do with the multiplayer. Like, I, I gave it a shot and I liked it. It seemed fun. But because I just don't really know much about the multiplayers in Call of Duty and I haven't played multiplayers in general much, to me it just felt like your average Joe first person shooter Call of Duty kind of game. And that's fine. Like, it felt very similar to Cold War. It's kind of like if you took Cold War's multiplayer and just added double action boogaloo type mechanics to it, <laughs> which I mean, I'm down for. And it was fun. Like I said, it was fun to play. I liked it, but. I wasn't like super into it or super addicted to it. Like I can tell that just like Cold War, that's going to be a mode I play here and there. And that's pretty much it. Like I, I doubt I'm going to really be grinding that mode very much. I don't know. The beta, like it felt good. It was fun to play. It looked good. It's, I don't know. I don't really have much to say other than that. Really. Yeah. I liked it and it, but I don't really care about it much, and I won't really be playing it much. Fair enough. People are saying the zombies looks bad. Huh? I haven't seen anything like about the zombies. That's true. Um. Uh, yes and no. Three. So yeah. basically, the game's launching with two maps, and I'll be honest, I haven't looked at much of the gameplay or much of the trailers. I've been kind of waiting to actually play them myself and learn everything myself. That's usually what I do with zombies. But uh, from what I've heard and from what I can see, it seems like one map is supposed to more feel like a map that's meant for zombies fans. And then one map, and then the other map, sorry, is like a lot more for like casual players and people who are new and people who don't really care much or know much about zombies. 
So one is a lot more complex and a lot more like interesting. And the other one is extremely simple and basic and boring. And a lot of people saw the game and they announced the cool one first and then they announced the more boring one after. And so because it's more recent and it's the one they saved for later, there's a lot more people looking at that map and saying, oh, okay, this looks like shit. Oh, okay, this looks boring. Oh, okay, this doesn't feel like zombies. And I mean, again, I haven't seen much of the gameplay myself, so I, I can't really say if I agree or not. But, like, I don't know. Based off what we've seen, the gameplay mechanics, it's pretty much just like Cold War, but better. And I thought Cold War's gameplay and mechanics was nearly perfect. So it just sounds like this might just be a better Cold War. And I am 100% down for that. And I have a feeling that that second map probably won't be as boring or as bad as people were saying. I think it's going to kind of be like Cold War. Where like the maps were good in that game. But there wasn't any maps that were like amazing. Or like mm. the, none of those maps were like up there with like my favorite maps ever, you know. And I think a lot a lot of people are just kind of overreacting and just kind of saying, oh, it looks like it looks terrible. It looks boring. It looks like shit. They before... didn't bring Dempsey back. <laughs> exactly. Before they, they actually they try it and they actually play it and they actually learn more about it. I think we can't really make calls like that until we actually play it ourselves and really see how it is for ourselves. But I don't know. Honestly, I, I agree. Um, I mean, a lot of people are overreacting, right? Now, especially since we've only seen footage, right? And be especially beta footage, you know. And until we actually see yeah, exactly. the game for what it is, we can't give a full rundown, right? We don't the game's know. It's not done yet. Yeah. Like they're still working and, on it, so like. And the Easter egg isn't even out yet. Exactly. Like, we don't all know the tiny about the stuff. Egg yet. We. <laughs> Like all the tiny stuff, like things like the shield or like, you know, the packs, wonder weapons and stuff. We don't, they don't have that activated yet. So really, I think, I think we just need to wait and see first before people make any assumptions, right? Yeah. And I will say they sh upload to YouTube both intro cutscenes, like for each map, like each intro cutscene. And yeah. um, I will say the map that people are calling boring has the way more interesting intro cutscene. Yeah. Like, it seems like for this game, they really listened to what people were saying about Cold War's boring story that no one cared about and are really, like, actually starting to somewhat try a little more. Because both those cutscenes seemed, like, pretty cool. Especially the one for the map it, that people were saying were boring. Yeah. It wasn't really a boring story. It was that, like... It was so insanely boring to figure out what the story was because you had to like collect the papers and read True. them. Like no one was gonna do that, bro. Yeah. No one was gonna sit there and read a hundred <laughs> different intels and documents. Yeah, that made it a lot worse too. That was like the big thing. Man. Yeah. That and like they're like, oh Peck, oh <laughs> Peck. Man, no one cares about Peck, bro. <laughs> well, he's back in the next. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Give me my guy, Raptor One. He's there too. I know. <laughs> A goat. Tyler, this is the part where you like. Yo, Tyler, this is yeah. the part where you do a segue. To okay, the next bro. Thing. Okay, bro. I was about to get there. All right, man. These guys, they clearly have places to be. So, we're officially moving on to <laughs> the FNAF DBD Ooh. announcement. Um, I actually have something to add to this, Johnny. Do you? Okay. Yeah. Well, first, I'm sorry for taking the spotlight from you, Tyler. First of all, it's okay. Uh, they did announce. I was gonna say Freddy Fazbear, but we don't actually know <laughs> yet. Some, some, something from FNAF is gonna be in DVD huh? as a killer, huh? right? Or a character of some kind. Right? right. That's confirmed. There was also a leak, Johnny, for like the next year. Of DVD killers. Really? One of them, and like one of the most likely ones, is Slenderman. No way. 
That would be so fire. Slenderman is like one of the like main ones people are looking at for like upcoming on like confirmed killers. Which that's crazy. If they both come in the same year, Johnny's actually like a psychic because a couple years ago he's like, you know what would be really cool? <laughs> if they added FNAF and Slenderman to, to DVD. I was just gonna say like, that, that's I've been wanting that since I like first started playing DVD basically. I've been saying yes. that for so long that like, dude, Slenderman and, and FNAF would be so cool. And if they both drop on the same year, that'd be crazy. I'm gonna Slender be Man's I'm gonna be playing DBD all day every day if they add FNAF and Slenderman <laughs> to, to the yeah. same. Like those are my mains now. I'm done with Slenderman. Raid. I think is uh, is coming like the spring of that year, and then the oh, summer for FNAF is FNAF like confirmed. That's not even that far away. Spring. Yeah, it's it's gonna be crazy when it comes out. Honestly, honestly. It was only a matter of time. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm shocked. Like, I'm actually shocked it took them this long to get to FNAF. Yeah, me too. I'm honestly surprised it took this long to get Slender Man. Yeah. <laughs> well, Slender Man... I'm, I'm actually shocked they're doing it in the first place. Yeah, me too, honestly. Slender Man was not a popular pick. No, and right? Slender Man is like... And how do you make that work? Exactly. And like, who talks about Slender Man now? Like, who cares about Slender Man anymore? <laughs> like, hey, man. I watched those Markiplier what Let's Plays. Yeah, you also Slender watched Man the FNAF Markiplier Let's Plays. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Still. Slender Man. <laughs> Slender Man was fire, okay? He deserves his flowers. He deserves and his flowers. Again, it's, it's not confirmed, but I was, yeah. I was told that I have seen something saying that, like, if those leaks are real, then he's coming within the next year. I really hope yeah. it is. That would be so sick. I, I hope that's real, dude. That'd be awesome. I'm so that's... excited for FNAF 2. FNAF 2? Oh, the movie. I was like, no, 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 no. Like, like T-O-O. Oh, 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 <laughs> wow. I just baited myself. <laughs> I don't know. I, if they, if I find out that it's a survivor and there's no new killer... Oh. I'm that would be so disappointing. Level, huh? There's no way they would do that. They've got like they would have to have a killer. I think, I think it makes sense to, for it to just be a killer. Exactly. Yeah, I think that would be way more likely than just a survivor. I feel too much if it was just a survivor. Like nah, what? They're... Most likely, it's probably like Springtrap or Freddy, and then there's like yeah. costumes you can make to change it to like in Chica. Fact, the fact that they're giving themselves a year to make it to make it that's also like telling crazy. you everything i don't know if they've i don't think they've ever done that before for a character really? ever huh? usually it's like like obviously they'll probably be working on it for longer they just don't release it right but like they don't say anything until like a month before the killer comes out huh usually huh? Interesting. and now they're like yep it's coming, He's in, coming a year. In, in a year. <laughs> so I don't know. It could be big. Could be big. I, I think it is going to be big. Honestly, it's going to be really cool. And uh, that's 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 all for our topics. Well, actually, I wanted to ask, who do you guys okay. think it's going to be, and like what they're going to add with it? Freddy or Spring Trap, a hundred percent. Yeah, those, those yeah. are the main two. Huh? Yeah, no, I agree. I watched this YouTube video like years ago, and it was someone making this like, like their idea for what a, a FNAF DVD DLC would be, and it like, and honestly, if they followed that, like I don't think they will, but like, if they did what that guy said, it would be pretty cool because like, that video showed like Spring Trap as the killer and like. They added a map that was just like the FNAF 3 place. Uh, I think they're going to probably do something like that. Huh? That would be so cool. That would be cool. It's going to be the worst. I feel worst. like they usually add maps from that franchise when they make like a crossover killer. They do, they do. So that means we're probably going to get a FNAF map in some way. 
and it's gonna be the most unbalanced, disgusting <laughs> thing ever. It's gonna be the next yeah. RPD. It's gonna be so bad. <laughs> oh my god. Imagine goodness. if you could close the doors on the killers. Just sit in the office? <laughs> yeah. Fuck it, man. Ooh, just you know ruin what? the game, but it'd be so that would be fun though. Do killers still come with maps? Is that not a thing anymore? We were just talking about we that, were yeah. Literally just not, talking about not that. Not always. But like it's it's sometimes. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna say, like I know we were just talking about. It, but I was gonna say because I know not, they don't always do that anymore. So, no, they still do that. Huh? May, I, I think, man, it'd be cool if they added. Have they ever done multiple maps? No. It'd be uh, cool if they had two maps. Tech, technically, they did two versions of RPD, but like I don't think that counts. No, I don't think and, so. And there's, and there's five versions of the preschool. <laughs> yeah, true. <Freddy. laughs> There's like the game and stuff. Got yeah. So. That'd be so cool. Alright. Yeah. At, as uh, elementary school. Continue. <laughs> Thank you. Um, as I was saying, we have now finished with the topics. We're going to move on to some questions that uh -huh. I have professionally curated with the highest ability. So we're Starting off. Now. What? I don't know what that no, sentence we... means, but go on. If my first question being, you cannot do any gaming related videos on your channel. What type of content would you make? I'm retiring. And next question. Damn. Uh... <laughs> no creativity on that one. No, Thanks, I'm man. I'll let you guys answer <laughs> first. All right. Uh, they're they're thinking about it as we speak, so <laughs> I'm gonna answer. Um. I would say, I honestly, I would love to try vlogging. I think that would be vlogging. so cool. Just going Just around vlogging. places and showing around and, you know, enjoying the day-to-day -day life and kind of showing people what your life is about. I always thought that was so intriguing. Sort of to make vlog style videos would be really cool. Okay. That's, that's cool. a fair and, pick. It's yeah. Fun, it's, it's fascinating you say that because that is, Probably the last thing I would want to do. Yeah, honestly, me too. <laughs> I don't think I'd ever do something like that. I... If I ever made anything non-gaming related, it would have to be something... Honestly, I'd, I'd probably just give up on YouTube and just start making movies at that point, huh? <laughs> yeah, I mean... Because <laughs> I, I, I want things to be, like, big scale, huh? Right. right huh? Which, I mean, my, my videos are not big scale, but... They're, I want them to get there at some point. Right. So if I'm not doing something gaming related, I'm, I'm not gonna do fucking daily vlogs because it's like, how big scale can you make a daily vlog? Yeah. Not to shit on your your YouTube channel, but <laughs> right. I probably yeah. I mean, who knows? Who knows? Yeah, that's fair. I don't know. I feel like if I could do anything gaming. I would probably just, you know, like Andrew said, I, I would probably just not do YouTube or I would make it, I would just make some kind of scripted videos on just other stuff I like, like maybe movies and TV shows or something. And even that, I really don't think I would be as motivated in doing or as interested in. So I just, I don't, I don't know if I'd actually just do it. it yeah. I just don't think I would even like doing it as much. No, listen, no hatred for anyone who does this, but the only other thing I would do, or that I, I wouldn't want to do less than a vlog, is the people that, like, their whole channel is covering, like, YouTube drama. Oh, like, I, I genuinely, I'm sorry, but listen, <laughs> shout out to those people, bro. Some of them make some, some very, you know, well-made videos. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah, I 100% I agree I with you. I don't care, bro. Like the the thing that just what, what was it like Dan TDM or something about like Lunchables? No, oh, yeah. I, I don't <laughs> care, dude. Yeah. He just destroyed Logan Paul. No, <laughs> I don't want to see this. I'm not. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I just for me, like I just I just feel like it would be so fun to sit there, right, and really like and go around town and, and showing people what your life is like like what you enjoy doing every day yeah no that's fair it's just 
the problem with me doing vlogs is I don't do anything. So my vlog is you guys. I was gonna say I'm like I, I, I'm 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 pretty simple minded. I don't do like yeah. crazy things ever. My vlog is hey guys, here's episode five hundred thousand of me, um, <laughs> editing and. Today I'm gonna be editing. Yeah. And, and, uh, watching a YouTube video, and then <laughs> scrolling through Twitter for a little bit, and then maybe playing a game, and then, and then eating and going to bed. <laughs> I'll see you guys I tomorrow. Don't know. I I feel like we we could like you know I feel like you'd be more inclined to to There's do only stuff. One to do kind stuff of if you're vlogging. There's only one kind of vlog I would do, and Shawnee knows what it I is. I know exactly what you're talking. about. Okay, the idea where I get I put on like a fake persona, I get a few other people with me, and every episode of the <laughs> vlog, we have Johnny as like, like a character. <laughs> that we pay no attention to, but he's always lurking in the background of yeah. every shot. <laughs> like, every frame he can be seen, just lurking. And we pay no attention to him. And then people would, like, start going crazy, like, who is this guy, right? Like, we're gonna put a bunch of attention to it. And then we edit the video so that he's not even there. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy work. <laughs> Like, there will be scenes where we walk right past them, huh? People are gonna think it's like a Mandela effect. That's exactly what we want. We want people to just be tripping That's out. That's what we want. That's what we want. Just tripping the fuck out, huh? That's the like, only kind of I vlogger. clearly have a downloaded video of we, him. We would never actually publicly or officially address that. Address We would never actually guy. talk about it or mention it. or Anytime Not someone me. would ask us about it, we would just act like confused. Like, what are you talking if, about? If that's what I was doing, I I would 100% vlog. But other but other than that, yeah, probably not. Probably Imagine just... you like do a live stream and it's saying like addressing the mysterious man, and you just delete the channel in the live stream. <laughs> that's how we end it. Yeah. <laughs> that's the finale. Huh? After like years of just like tormenting yeah, you. Yeah, like people. 25 years of just vlogging like. <laughs> <laughs> 25 years. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be funnier the longer we go on. <laughs> For 25 years, yeah. it's still gonna be funny. <laughs> yeah, bro's like gonna be 40 in the background years. of these videos, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I just dedicate my life to just being in the background of these videos. Hey, Johnny, you know that guy where he made a video of, like, a picture of him every day until he turned into, like, <laughs> yeah. until he got married? People are gonna do that with you <laughs> 25 years later. This is what the mysterious man looks like. <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> mysterious man. All right, fuck it. Maybe, maybe I will start doing that. We'll see. Bro's gonna get like police ass sketches on the like, yeah, Stay tuned and on shit. GTA for vlogs. If I, <laughs> if I start doing that, okay, and this channel is being hidden, right? or this video specifically is being hidden. Yeah, we're we're completely deleting it. So I don't address it, it at all. <laughs> okay. This is why watching the GTA podcast is exclusive. Yeah, you would you would never in twenty five years from now you would never understand the <laughs> you mysterious. Would, you would never understand <laughs> unless you watch this video. This is why you gotta yeah. get everyone you know to start watching these podcasts. It's gonna change right your life. Now. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Pause the video. Go ask everyone to watch it and come back. Yeah? Tell them that we give financial advice. So and the financial advice is just telling people to bet all in on blackjack. Don't listen to them. <laughs> I'm bad on hundred thousand dollars in debt because of Tyler's financial advice. Bet on red. All in on red. You're the only person I know that would pick red over black. Anyways, we not only <laughs> and need you to know be what? talking about gambling. Okay, okay. <laughs> We're gonna move on. So where do you see yourself in the next year? And it does not have to be specific you specifically YouTube wise, but it could just be in general or you could talk about YouTube if you want, or some other projects that you've been working on in the back. That's a good question. In the next year. In the next year. Okay, so while they're thinking about the answer, <laughs> I'm gonna answer. So, personally, I will be in school. I know, crazy. 2024 and bro is still in school. <laughs> That's most of the population, yeah? I mean, yeah. Anyways, yeah. point aside. Um, 
it'll be pretty exciting. You know, a lot a lot of new things are gonna be coming out. A lot of music coming out. Those who don't know, I make music, Ooh. and I think I think it's gonna be cool. The next year's gonna be interesting. Lots more JTA videos that I'm excited to be working on. Especially, there's still <laughs> one. What, what do you mean debatably? Okay. Knowing our luck, bro. I'm kidding. <laughs> Listen, man. We got, we got some plans. We got plans. We got plans. Big catered. I'm still excited about that one video. I cannot name. Uh, but I'm very excited to be working on it. It won't be coming out soon, but when it does it come might. out, it'll be a legendary video. It might. And uh, yeah, in the next year, I think we're gonna be uploading a lot more on JTA. You're gonna see a lot more music from me. It's gonna be a lot more busy, and things are gonna get crazy. I and, like the sound uh, of it. Let's let's see what the other two have to say. Because hopefully all that yapping made them think of an answer. Do you, do you want like an you want an honest answer or you want like a like a like a optimistic answer? Up to you. <laughs> you could say both if you want. Because a realistic game. Maybe you're, huh? uh, your mic cut out. Let me say that again. Then. I said <laughs> the realistic answer is I'm gonna be exactly where I am now. <laughs> But the optimistic answer, okay, is I have a lineup of enormous video-related projects Ooh. that I want to do, or am doing. And if I can finish at least half of those within the next year, that's like the main goal, huh? Okay, cool. Like, there's some monumental ones. Huh? Really? Yeah. Oof. I like this. Monumental. Monumental. It's gonna be game changing. <laughs> Genre defining. Not really. How how will this affect LeBron's legacy? I think he'll be just fine. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, your turn. What, what where do you see yourself in the next year? I'll be honest with you, my answer is very similar to Andrew's. My goal within the next year is just to um, save money and work on YouTube and streaming. I just want to spend way more time and effort into my videos um, and onto streaming. And I just want to do it more often. And hopefully within the next year, I'm a lot better at it and I'm a lot bigger. Fair enough. That's a very good answer. Alrighty. And we're down to the last question, folks. If one day you woke up and were in Ark Survival Evolved <laughs> with two dinos of your choice, oh, here we go. What would they be? <laughs> here and we why? Go. Question. Two dinos of my choice. You what say, is the you question? Say two dinos of my choice. You mean like two tamed dinos? Like these are dinos that are mine, and I, they're yes. tamed. Yes. Okay. Yes, they are yours. Okay, because that. Whether they're tamed or not completely changes my hits. <laughs> nah, you you can you just request a giga and it's untamed. You just kind of have to. You're on your own. Okay. Well, this question this question can go uh, a bunch of different ways. I feel like because I could just pick like the Titanosaur. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, like, hmm. Well, you gotta think about Ark, right? Ark is a very vicious environment, so you need some you need something that can like fight back in pretty much every scenario. Right? But also imagine it's you, right? Like you don't have the experience points to level up your health or strength, you know. You also can't be punching trees and getting two wood in your inventory. It's just you. So you really gotta you know, you gotta think about it. you're gonna prioritize material getting animals or Right be more on the defensive side and get some T-Rexes or if but you I, really do want to gig up. But Andrew's like point still boring. stands. Whether it's, whether it's us or not, Ark is still a very dangerous world. You need to have some kind of defense or you're dying at the age of five. <laughs> five is generous. <laughs> okay. 
pretty here's a simple answer okay what you do is you stay near the coastline of of the map right of the world the island there and you have a t-rex because they're pretty loyal they might like you know squish you to death if you're not careful but they're <laughs> loyal and they can kill pretty much anything you can even go for something smaller if you don't want to get instantly yeah. crushed to death huh? <laughs> you can go for something like uh like uh what's something maybe like a thyla that thing's pretty fast huh? right huh? can kill pretty well huh? in most scenarios right and then you go for like well here's the thing you say something to gather materials right I, I feel like even in our normal forms, we could build up and learn how to cut down a tree. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The problem is, like, stone resource materials, right? That's hard. Huh? That's yeah. very physically That, that would be a lot harder. <laughs> so get me, like, an ankylo or something uh, as my second. Uh, or, like, what else is good at getting stone? Uh... Yeah, honestly, an ankle by itself is not bad. Huh? Yeah. Get that in a thyla and you're chilling. Huh? Yeah. And just stay near the coastline. Huh? Oh, that's that's those are good picks. I'll be honest, I don't know. I love Ark, but I don't know it as much as you guys do. So I think I'm just gonna kind of steal that answer. But but instead of a thyla, I think I'll take a. I, th I honestly, I think I'll take the Giga. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Just have the extra defense and just the extra power. Yeah. And they're just cool. Thi <laughs> they're not loyal though, huh? Oh, they're not. They can, they can turn on you. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. That's why we killed ours in extinction. Oh. <laughs> well, that was like a quarter of the reason why. The other reason was he was just taking up too much space. <laughs> <laughs> we needed space. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, they can turn on you. I don't know if they still can, but I think they used to. Okay, then maybe. Then I think I'm just gonna take your exact answer then, and just say Athila and then yeah, Anglo. I mean, I'm glad we answer. got real creativity I, in GTA <laughs> here. Listen, I, was guess gonna, what? I know it's not a good answer, but it's just. I'm also about to say that I will take the Ankylo. <laughs> the Ankylo, okay. What about okay. your other one? Huh? But I think, okay, you guys are underrating this pick. A Quetzal for platform saddle. Ooh. Ooh. Because at that rate, Quetzal. you could take the Anki I anywhere. About that. And you could fly anywhere. Somebody attacks you, boom, you gone. I didn't even think about that. Quetzal's. That's a really good pick, actually. And nothing can kill too. Yeah. Best thing is you can you can build on the platform saddle. Yeah. So you just have a mobile base. Okay, but what are you building up there with your physical capabilities? I don't know. I don't know. But you'll figure it out, you know. You can build like a, a, a hut out of sticks with glue. I mean, yeah, Quetzal. Quetzal is actually honestly, really a good very answer. good pick. Yeah. I didn't think about that, huh? Thing is, I like staying on the ground, uh, so. <laughs> yeah, true. I think I'm gonna stick with the Thyla, huh? Fair enough. Hey, a yeah. Galil wouldn't be a good choice, or it wouldn't be a bad choice either, with how fast it goes. They are really fast. That's but true. They, then you can't really kill anything with them. Yeah. Huh? True, and you other than their speed, the they don't kill. really do much. Yeah, but is the Anki gonna kill like a it'll... horde of raptors? Huh? Well, no, but it'll kill most. And depending on the level, it actually could if you think about it. Who's gonna kill a T-Rex? <laughs> no, you're a. Uh, you see a Rex, you're cooked. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> and animal or not, you you're a physical, you're a regular human be being fighting a T-Rex. But that's why the quest will be good because you just fly away. Exactly. Or uh, before they nerf the fact that you can't upgrade the movement speed. Uh, what's it called? Tyrannodon. Tyrannodon. Those are too small though, huh? I feel like. Yeah, but you know how fast you could go. Wow, well, flying. Guess. 
just if imagine you're on the island hey, you go to the base we had it was just an island with rocks and a bronto boom you're set there's fish all around you have food for life i don't know personally i think those are my choices those, those are good quetzal, picks. The quetzal and especially all righty well Ladies and gentlemen, I think we are done. Actually, there's one more thing I wanted to kind of talk about that you talked about a little bit. Um, I'm shocked you didn't even include it as a topic. Your music. You just wow. officially started making music and are releasing a new song. Yes, I was trying to be humble. Of course. <laughs> uh, no, but you should advertise it. You should talk about it. Yeah, I, I, was about, Johnny. I, I was joking, Johnny. Tell us about uh, your... So, of course, I got a new single. It's called Tired, coming out September 27th. First, first single. First Don't single ever. Don't say it. Okay. It, it, it might be. It might be the song of the winter. No! <laughs> why did you say it? <laughs> Just so might be. <laughs> <laughs> Mariah Carey is competition. No, she doesn't. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Wouldn't it be Song of the Fall? Uh... <sighs> Bro. The winter's not for another three months. <sighs> yeah, but I think he's tr he's saying that, like, people are going to be it's listening. It's funnier that way. It's funnier. For so long. Way. Yeah. Yeah, sure. That's what I was going <laughs> sure. for. Um... It's it's got that staying power, you know? <laughs> But yeah, it's uh, it's really exciting. It's about a minute and a half long. The pre orders actually just went live as we were making this podcast. Oh. It's on iTunes, Apple Music, pre save. So go pre save that on you can pre save it on Spotify too. Check it out. My artist name is T Dash L O. That's T Dash L O. T Lo T Lo. <laughs> What did, what did he say? Nothing. Okay, I'm going to rewatch the footage later. Um, and yeah, I'd really appreciate it if all y'all checked it out. Go pre order his song. Link in the description. Yes. yes. Now we're officially done with, uh, with everything. We hope you enjoyed now this podcast. We're going to talk, talk about the 2015 Fantastic Four movie for an hour. Okay. No. I think you can do that. Johnny, how, how long is the podcast already? I was going to say, um, I feel like this is a longer than usual episode already. It's actually shorter than most. What? <laughs> it's only been an hour, I think. It's been 50-something minutes. Damn. All right, well, my bad. Um, <laughs> scr scratch that. <laughs> One of the shortest podcast episodes ever. That's a, <laughs> it's a huge feat for JTA. <laughs> um so yeah we hope you enjoyed watching and uh we'll see you guys soon with another video i know crazy we're actually uploading again it's and uh, be on the lookout for a potential tyler p126 video in the year 2024 Ooh. i know yeah, good that's, luck with that. that's surprising i know and uh yeah we'll see you guys in the next one goodbye Goodbye. Forever. What? Whoa. What? what?